I want to demonstrate the accuracy of the new meter I got GTC uh, CM100 and I really really like it I'm going to show you how accurate it is uh, I bought it specifically one for one function and that's the DC clamp meter function um, I did use it the last week and I found it to be helpful and accurate but I wanted to see how accurate it was so I'm going to go ahead and use my Rigel DM3068. It's a precision meter. I'm going to use it in the current mode uh, to uh, to compare it to. All right, I'll go ahead and turn my power supply on. First, I'm going to uh, go to two volts on my bench meter. So two volts. We got 1.9 milliamps being measured here, and you can see it is at reading one milliamps so let's go to uh, 2.5 okay and the fan kicked on so we're reading uh, 35 milliamps and check it out it's right on the nose 35 um, so that's that's very good uh, kick it up to 3 volts we're up to 47 again 47 uh, let's do six volts. Now we're at uh, 90, 88, 87. Let it settle. 88. Okay, so 88. Um, there it is. 87, 88. I mean, the thing is bright on accurate. I uh, bought this thing for 150 bucks. I think it's a steal. Um, and let's uh, let's try uh, eight volts then. So 113 milliamps, it's 112, 111 now, it bounce back, see, 11, 111, 111, still spot on, um, and let's go ahead and kick it up to 10 volts, it's 135, 135, and max is 12 volts. So 158, 157, 156, and we're at 156, 155, it's, it's going down as well, it's mirrored. So between 0 and 12 volts um, and 1 milliamp to, you know, 150, this thing is right on the nose. Uh, so definitely recommend this for... Uh, reading DC current, which is the reason I bought it. A couple of things. Um, it is small, very small, compared to my regular meter, which is quite long and tall, which does a lot more than this, so you could expect that, but that's really nice. That I am planning on carrying this in my tool bag. Um, one thing I don't like about it, no uh, LCD backlight. It does save battery. It's not a big deal, um, but, uh, but it would be nice. Um, Let's go ahead and do a peak hold. So I, I turned up. Oops. No, sorry. That's a press two seconds for peak hold. So there's there's our peak hold. And so if I turn the power supply off, fan kicks off, and it will register your peak current. So that's that's really nice as well. Um, the peak, I, the hold is nice. Let's say if you have a customer and you want to show them a test that you did or something like that, um, that's that's really nice to have. Um, so, um, yeah, I uh, love this thing. It's uh, it's definitely staying in my tool bag, and I'd recommend it to anybody doing uh, DC testing. Um, as far as applications and appliance repair, really. Uh, DC loads like motors, uh, fan motors uh, would be um, would be also um, heaters. Uh, you can uh, measure what a heater is, uh, a 12 volt heater, let's say, is is drawing, and um, and so that you know these are good applications. What it's not good for would be um, sensors. Sensors will uh, measure in the microamps, which it's off the chart on these. Um, still just have to you know check resistance and voltage for for uh, the thermistors um, so 
All right. I uh, hope you like it. If you have any questions about it, let me know. Um, got nothing but good things to say about this puppy. All right. We'll see you next time.